Hi, this is Jenny LeClaire, and I'm going to do the data overview presentation. And the presentation and data in this slideshow is um, based from um, Ford Elementary. And the purpose of this presentation is to present Ford school data and I'll be drilling down the data to give teachers and school leaders an understanding of what areas of strengths and weaknesses. Um, I've included some graphs, demographics and performance, and comparisons to determine where improvements can be made for teaching and learning. I've also identified content areas and focus on where curriculum can be improved to support students to reach higher levels of proficiency. The J the data trend will be useful for knowing how Ford Elementary is performing compared to the county, state, and future goals. Here are some guiding questions. How are students at Ford Elementary performing? And in what content areas of curriculum and instruction are weak or inconsistent? How are the subgroups, males and females, performing in the content areas? What is the CCRPI score say about Ford Elementary? And how does the CCR RPI score at Ford compare to the district and state? Ford Elementary student dem demographics in 2019, we have a very high percentage of white um, students in our school, um, students with disabilities, English language learners, very low, um, economically disadvantaged, very low, multiracial, Hispanic, low, and um, African Americans and Asian Pacific Islanders are also pretty low on the demographic scale. And this is based on 2019, and there are about 784 students enrolled um, at Ford Elementary. And here's the breakdown of students by race and ethnicity. Um, there are across the 2015 to 2016, the enrollment was 679, and there were 10% across three years um, of African American students and Hispanic students, 25% in 2015. 16% in 2016 and 2017, 15%. And predominantly white with 75% to 74% um, students by race and ethnicity. Student enrollment by race and ethnicity is trending upward slightly. Um, in African, for African American students went from 63 to 70, um, Hispanic 41 to 48, and then predominantly affluent white um, students at Ford from 574 to 644 students. So our student enrollment at Ford is um, increasing um, year after year. The teachers at Ford Elementary are very well educated. Um, there are many teachers with their bachelor's degree, um, and you'll see that in this graph. In 2015, 2016, 17 teachers had their bachelor's degree, 24 teachers had their master's degree, and 11 teachers had their specialist degree. And this number is increasing as each year. Um, which is also the number of teachers that are increasing each year as well. Um, so here are some initial observations based on the graphs that we just saw. Student enrollment at Ford is increasing in each ethnicity great race group. In the school year 2015-2016, 679 enrolled students to 762 enrolled students by the school year 2017-2018. This increase in enrollment shows the student body is increasing in size. Teacher education level at Ford is high with teachers who hold a higher degree 
including master's degree and specialist degree. In year 2015, 2016, 35 out of 52 teachers have their master's degree, which is the same in year 2017, 2018. Student ethnicity at Ford Elementary is predominantly white students. The percentage of white students for the year 20 to 2015 to 2016 is 75%. The other groups comprise of 10% of African American, 15% Hispanics, and 0% Asian, which was too few of students. So it's safe to say that Ford Elementary is not that diverse. Okay, on this graph, we're looking at the CCRPI score comparison, um, which is the College and Career Readiness Performance Indicator. And I have a graph 2016, 2017, and 2018. Um, 2016 in the dark gray, Ford Elementary got a score of 87.4, and in 2017, 95.4%, and in 2018, 92.9%. And in Cobb, the district in Cobb, the scores are 2016, 74.7%, and 2017, 79.7%, and then 2018, 85.4%. And Cobb, the district and Cobb and Ford um, is compared to the state, and the state in 2016 had 71.7% in their CCRPI score. In 2017, 72.9%, and 2018, 77.1%. And these are the latest scores, CCRPI scores, um, in 2019. And Ford Elementary also um, scored really well, 92.2%. Um, state score is 77.1, and the Cobb School District score in 2019 is 86.1. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to look at how students at Ford performed on the end of grades um, Georgia test that they take every year. This is an assessment milestones. Um, and as you can see, each area is split up by year at the very bottom. And the areas we're looking at are English language arts and mathematics um, across the board. Our proficiency learners are in the beige and our orange, um, the orange bar is represented by the distinguished learners. Um, the developing learners are the light blue and the dark gray is the beginning learners. I decided to look at the subgroup, um, gender subgroup of male and female student performance to see if there were any gaps in performance. And I noticed um, a few gaps and we're gonna talk about that next. So in 2015, 2016, um, the males um, performed pretty well. Um, much higher in math with 57.1%, um, whereas our females at Ford performed 39.7%. Um, there were 77 males tested um, on this test and 63 females tested. Okay. In the end of grade assessment, um, this is the year 2016-2017, and there were Comparable scores with male and female, um, the English language arts scores for male at 52.4% um, proficiency is what I'm looking at, and for female for 50.8% proficiency. And in mathematics, 47.6% proficient, and females were 44.1% proficient. 
in 2017-2018, a similar trend with the mathematics score of males being 46.2% and the mathematics score of females being 41.7%. And there were 78 percent, I'm sorry, 78 males tested and 60 females tested. And some observations based on the CCRPI comparison by state and county, Ford Elementary scored better than the state and county. The end of grade summary for Ford Elementary show an upward trend in math students who are proficient with 44.2% in 2016, 45.9% in 2017, and 49.3% in 2018. Male and female students at Ford performed differently. In 2015 and 16, male students have a higher percentage of proficiency with 57.1% in math and 39.4% for female students in math, and this is a 18% difference. In the year 2015-2016 school year, males at Ford have a higher proficiency rate in language arts at 49.4% than females at 47.6%. So in that one, males scored a 1.8% proficiency rate better more than females. And a similar trend um, across 2017 and 2018. Um, where males scored higher with 46.2% in math compared to female proficiency at 41.7%. So when we're looking at the data, we're inferring Ford Elementary has a history of being a high quality, well-educated teachers and a high CCRPI student scores above the state and district for the past three school years. This is definitely a strength of, of Ford. This puts Ford at one of the top performing schools in Cobb. The drill down data shows that trends exist when looking at the performance of subgroups by male and female. Male students outperform students and outperform female students in areas of proficiency in math and language arts. The proficiency gap can be due to more male students and female students. Also, the trends of male and female groups can be due to male students performing better on testing than female students. Instructional strategies could also vary from females to males. Male students generally perform better in tasks that are objective and females on subjective tasks. The data team at Ford Elementary can use this presentation to guide discussion questions. Are teachers aware of the slight achievement gap among gender groups? Does this change how we teach males and females? And what can teachers do to challenge students to raise the percentage of distinguished learners? Thank you for listening.